Yeah, there's two ways of creating your own recipes. One is to take a recipe that's in there and just tweaking it. So like there's a lot of ice cream recipes that I've created from uh, the key lime ice cream. There's a key lime ice cream recipe in here. Most of the ice creams I make are variations of the key lime ice cream. I didn't start from scratch. I just took the, the key lime ice cream. It's here, I'll show you how easy it is. You go to the, like the key lime ice cream, hit the pencil, pencil's over there, add in a copy. And if you're wanting to make something without the lines, you just take the line. Better without the gloves. And just there, now the lime's gone. Now the original paper. recipe is still there because you, you're, yeah, you're adding a copy. And then you're going to give it a new name. Um, and then you can drag new ingredients in by just dragging in an ingredient. And then calling that ingredient, you know, picking something out of the pantry, telling it how much of it to put in. It's very simple. I'm going to not do that because I've already created a bunch of ice cream recipes. I'm going to make one of them right now. I leave. And you can see the variations. So what should I make? Vanilla, chocolate, strong, um, I can do vanilla, chocolate, coffee, and frozen margarita. Frozen margarita. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip using the scale. And I'm going to make you a... Kind of a frozen margarita. It's going to be missing in a crucial ingredient really? because I'm going to use this tequila. So tequila is made from blue agave. This is just before it becomes tequila. So, so that's right. That's right. This guy wasn't here. Thought could go go right in there. But no, that's not true. <laughs> I'm just joking by the mix. Yeah, hi, Parker. <laughs> hi, Parker. We don't do that. <laughs> Tom keeps trying to get me to put in alcohol, but I won't do it. Just so you know. Jody. <laughs> Jody Berg is the CEO of Vitamix. She's the granddaughter of the founder. And uh, it's a family-run business. And I mean, it's amazing because they make all the machines for the Java Juice, Smoothie King, Tropical Smoothie, Starbucks uses them to make their frappuccinos. Every restaurant and bar, if you ever watch TV, you're going to see it on Chopped and on Rachel Ray and all the cooking shows. So, so I'm not using my recipe app this time. I will use the program. I'll use the frozen dessert program over here. I didn't mean to peel that. And so since I sat here and peeled it, I'm going to unpeel it. This is how you unpeel a lemon. Nothing left by, nothing up my sleeves. So I'm going to take the unpeeled lemon and put it in there. Just whole like that. I'm going to add some agave nectar. I don't use peeled lemons, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that one that I peeled. I don't know why I did that. I peeled the lemon. Right, why do I do that? I didn't mean to do that. I was going to ask you why you did that. So, see if I was using the perfect blend system, I wouldn't have done that because I would have been paying attention. Now, that is going to become an amazing <laughs> lemon ice, but we're going to pretend. We're going to pretend. So, I'm going to use the fro <laughs> frozen dessert setting. Now, this one, <laughs> excuse me, a little imprecise because I don't know how juicy that lemon is, so I might have to add a little ice if it's too slushy. <laughs> we'll see. It's a little slushy. Nice to have that little opening on top. So, ice actually thickens. So by adding a little extra ice to this, it's going to be a little thicker, which is what I was going for, because it was a little too slushy before. I like my frozen margaritas with a little substance. The ice cream that you made earlier, can you store that? So it stores, very, it, it's mainly ice, so the ice refreezes and it gets really hard. You can, uh, I, what I do is I, I put it back, I put it in my freezer, yeah. if there's any left over, which there never is, but I put it in my freezer, I freeze it in small enough things, so I just use it like ice cubes the next time. So the next time I make an ice cream, instead of ice cubes, I just use my, my ice cream ice cubes. 
and that works great. Except that I rarely have any ice cream left over. It's kind of guilt-free because it's mainly ice. It's low in calories. It's really good. You know, like having a salad, and um, I usually end up eating the whole thing. There's myself, and my wife, and my dog. They all love the ice cream. All three of us. So, but and you can also change the serving size. I keep forgetting to show that. But let's say you make one of these ice creams. You can change that by just touching where it says three and changing the service. You can change it so that you can only make the number of servings you want. The beautiful thing about having this app is, is that, you know, it just opens up so many possibilities. You've got 500 recipes, you're an expert at every one of them. You can make any size portion, get it to come out right every time. I gotta start mentioning that more because that's really a good feature. So here we go. This is basically a, a, what we call lemon ice. Still a little slushy. A little more ice would have made it a little thicker, but it, it is so yummy. And, and think about this for a second. A whole lemon. The skin, the peel, the seeds. If you did this with lemon juice, you'd use a whole bag of lemons. People buy lemons <laughs> and throw them away. They just juice, get the juice out and throw away all that pulp, all that fiber, the seeds, and the skin, and that is where all the nutrients are, right? So good. And yet, way healthier and way cheaper to make. That's what the vit Vitamix saves you money, left and right. I'm gonna make a hot soup next. <laughs> Clean up is so easy, gonna do a hot soup. I'll use this, the uh, perfect blend system to make the hot soup again. So I downloaded that Perfect Drink app. Were you the fellow I was talking about the Perfect Drink earlier? Or am I just associating you with him because you were both talking about frozen margaritas, probably? I don't know. I was here this morning. You were here this morning, right? So when you were here, I thought I mentioned the Perfect Drink, which is another app that you can use with this. So I'm using the Perfect Blend. The Perfect Blend is for vitamin recipes. The Perfect Drink is all for cocktails. So I was mentioning that there's also one called the Perfect Bake. And they all work with this scale. So I downloaded the perfect drink. And, uh, well, I thought I had it up and ready to go. So, so, you're welcome to look at that. Those are all the, uh, the cocktail recipes. You know, it's like hundreds of cocktail recipes. And it's a simple for, for the scale. Basically, that's to work with the scales. You can put a cocktail glass on here, whatever you want, cocktail shaker, a highball glass. It tells you what the, which cont what the container to put on. But it's just like you're an expert bartender right off the bat. I mean, it's really, it's really cool. So now I'm a, so now I'm a, I'm a chef, I'm a bartender. I've got all these great things I can do. And there's one called Perfect Bake, and Perfect Bake works the same way. So with the Perfect Bake system, you're going to put your mixing bowl on here. You're going to put in flour until you fill up the box, and then you're going to put in sugar until you fill up the box. It works exactly the same way. So what did I say I'm making that? Soup, right? Let's do a little soup. There we go. Oh. I gotta not wear gloves. That's my problem. I, mean, I have to wear the gloves, but that's why this is not responding. My gloves are wet. There we go. Now, hot soup and hot milk. I won't say they're all plant-based, but I think most of them are. Um, you can set dietary preferences. So here's dietary preferences. We well, can turn that on or off. And then in the in the account, in your profile, somewhere here, profile. Oh, it's down the bottom here. Profile. There we go. You can set up an account, and when you're in that account, you can establish any of these sort of things. So it only pulls up recipes that apply to that. So you can pull just, you know, just 
and it was tree nut free, or it, you know, so you have all that. Um, it's a it's an amazing app, and they're constantly tweaking it and updating it. So every Vitamix owner now, do you have a Vitamix? No, I've never owned one. Oh, so now's the time. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Okay. <laughs> so let me do this. Soon. Here's the thing. Uh, if you're going to get a Vitamix, there's in my opinion, it would be silly to buy anything other than the Ascent series because everything going forward is going to be developed for this platform. Um, so they're not going to get rid of the older models, but it was just like when they went from the stainless steel containers back in the 80s to the new platforms. Um, you could still get parts for the stainless steel containers, but nothing new was developed for it. Then they went on and they started developing, programming, doing all sorts of things. Now they've made another shift. So with this pro platform, everything going forward is going to be Bluetooth, compatible, everything's going to have the self-detection features that allow the containers to work. So it really doesn't make sense. You're going to have it for 30 years. You want to get, you know, and, the, and it's not like the price is that much different. Uh, you know, you're going to pay. Today here. Especially today here, yeah. So, I mean, there's in some cases where you're going to pay more for a legacy model than you're going to pay here. You know, shorter warranty, uh, fewer features, so it just doesn't make sense. Um, and this is just, uh, yeah, this price here today is going to be... So, first thing it asked me for is celery. Next is carrots. I like to breeze through these a little bit. Uh, it will go to the next thing automatically, because sometimes it takes a long time. The tomato. Now that was a big tomato, so it might stop. Sometimes if something is, when it's asking for a tomato, if something is bigger, less or more than it thinks it should be, it'll stop and make you verify it. And all it does is just, it doesn't go on. So now I'm gonna go into the garlic, because I'm gonna verify that yes, it was a tomato, and yes, it was the size I want. So the garlic. And you don't have to peel it, throw it in. Gives you time to peel your vegetable bouillon. I never, I never noticed that. That's the first time I've noticed that picture. It's a bunch of pictures of all sorts of different colored bouillon cubes. I mean, the cubes are probably all the same colors, just the foil is different. And it's kind of showing you that you should unwrap it. I love this. Isn't it? Yeah. I like to, I like to pass on those things, just like where you hear when I'm passing on this tip. I mean, this is a great tip, you know. And watch this. When I pour this taco seasoning in, every little drop of that powder, look at that. I'm just sprinkling a little bit at a time and it's responding. And you want to make sure you don't put in too much because it's a it's a bear to get that out. I got this whole set of tweezers, but it's just takes forever. So water. We use a little hot water. You just fill up the box. Now, you don't have to put in hot water. As a matter of fact, the machine, the scale on the app assumes you're putting in cold water. So, it's going to go ahead and blend for uh, the full time. But I'll stop it early. You can always stop it early. You don't have to blend it full time. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. You see, it started the timer for six minutes. I won't let it go six minutes, but I'll let it go for a little bit not too long because it takes about one minute to completely juice the carrot and celery to the main. Everything else is asking to So since I started with kind of hot water, we will have to go to the fresh water. I did. I go to Costco every night. So I leave here and go to Costco. And then drive back. I got hot dogs. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put it over here. I'm not really done yet because I got another little basket of stuff here that I pull out. And I'm going to put in a few tortilla chips. And 
little bit of spinach. Okay, the spinach I get with the tortilla chips. And we're done. Now it's going to run yet another program, and we're going to put it back on the uh, back on the machine. It's going to run that program just for about 15 seconds, just to chop those up. It's a food processor as well, so you no longer get your food processor out to chop up and dice up onions or potatoes for, for hash browns. Onions are just one of those everything systems, too. Yeah. Uh, I can make peanut butter in it. I make really good homemade peanut butter. You'll get so, now I'm using my fancy china here, which means I'm going to double the cups because it's a little hot. Vitamix is the only machine that can make ice cream, the only machine that can make hot soup. The soup gets steaming hot, and the great thing about this soup, it's raw vegetables juiced and heated. It's not cooked. It tastes like a slow-simmered restaurant quality soup. It's been simmering for hours, but it's actually raw vegetables. Now, it's great that we get the information while we're compiling the recipe, because that way, if you want to shave off a few calories and a few carbs, or if you're you know, wanting to add a few calories and add a few carbs, you can do that as you go. At the end, what you want is, what am I going to consume right now? So you pour that in whatever you're going to consume it from. You hit right there where it says track serving. And there you go. Those are the nutrition facts for the single serving. And it's very precise, because remember that scale is accurate up to a hundredth of an ounce. Now who wants the accurate, sir? Accurate. So that tells you exactly the nutrition, and you can count on it being precise because of the accuracy of the scale. What's in this? Carrot, celery, tomato, a little garlic, and seasoning. At the end, I put in chips and spinach. Try that. It is yummy. I'm yeah. gonna get the smaller one because I'm not I'm not sure about it. I'm gonna put the lid back on, we're gonna hit start. It's gonna clean itself up. I'm gonna wait for it to go out. Yeah, it's hot. So step on over, we have the best price ever on the Vitamix machine. You don't have to take it home with you right now. You can or carry it around this uh, fair with you. Could we maybe um, make ice cream next week? Sure. Yes. So it's really good, right?